Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ndeye J and today's video is a product review. So I haven't done a product review in a long time and that's because a lot of the products I've been trying out I'm kind of loving or I'm still on the fence about. So I've not really been compelled to do a product review. However, however, <laughs> the day I'll be doing a product review on the um, e.l.f. HD Mattifying Cream Foundation Oil Free. So now this foundation is um, obviously advertised as oil free and that's what really made me gra gravitate towards it and because I have um, combination to oily skin, uh, predominantly oily skin and so um, I usually find it difficult finding a mattifying foundation or a foundation that's oil free that obviously will help uh, stay all day and still look flawless and things like that kind of like hold back the natural oils that I produce my face so obviously um, I was just browsing on elf um, cosmetics and I just stumbled upon this foundation and I thought well I'm gonna try it I did buy a couple of other things from them as well which I'll probably discuss at the end of the video but um, this video is about this product now the product came in typical e.l.f. black box with um, HD Matte Fine Cream Foundation Oil Free written on it and on the front it says that it comes with a mirror and a sponge included and then on the back it says this is a high definition oil free lightweight foundation which is perfect for normal to oily skin types right and then it says the cream to powder formula minimizes fine lines and leaves a natural long lasting matte finish. It includes a compact sponge for easy application and portable beauty. Directions. Smooth onto the face, working from the center outwards for an even blend. Reapply for buildable coverage. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, Elf, yes, come through, come through, drugstore. Because to me, the value, the price of Elf products to me are like drugstore. You know, if you live in the UK, it's kind of hard finding drugstore makeup as it is. And now, uh, being, um, a, you know, an African woman, it's even harder a woman of color so the product came in this packaging and then in the pan we have this guy um, which is in shade caramel so just looking at the website now um, the product uh, retails for seven pounds fifty and I don't know what's up with the elf website but sometimes it just it just looks like it breaks but um, so on the website at this very moment in time, there are only four shades, which is porcelain, sand, buff, and caramel. And by looking on the website, the caramel did look dark enough to be my complexion. I mean, I use caramel in the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and the mother foundation. So I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna try this. So this is what it looks like in the pan which I thought would look really really good on me so um, it comes with a mirror as described and then underneath you get an applicator sponge which is there which I which is gone because I never use so now when I tried this product I tried this product with a brush to kind of apply it on my face to see how I'll be able to build up the coverage now I'm just going to insert a little clip, a little demo, a little clip <laughs> of what the foundation actually looked like on my face. Like, I look like a freaking ghost, so I'll, I'm going to show you guys. Mm -hmm. Come through. So, come through video. So, this is me trying to apply it, feeling cute, saying, okay. And then I applied it and I said, just, I looked horrendous I looked white I looked like a ghost the amount of oil on my face it looked like Vaseline mixed with coloring it was just disgusting on my skin my skin felt itchy it felt heavy it was absolutely nothing like as described on the box where it says it's lightweight it's um, mattifying and it's cream to powder it it 
it didn't dry like it didn't dry down it didn't minimize any fine lines it I actually it i felt like it sat in my pores and really accentuated my flaws and i absolutely hated it i mean looking at it in the pan as it is you can see the amount of oil just sitting on the top the amount of grease if i was to go ahead and swatch this it's super slippery it looks like it's just moving it just looks like Vaseline and that's how it looks and then if I swatch it on my hand it doesn't transfer as well from the pan now this is what it is swatched and this is what it looks like in the pan absolutely absolutely ridiculous 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 and this product is seven pounds fifty I honestly feel like elf um, Elf needs to give me an apology because to me this is like one of the worst if not the worst foundation I have ever used in my entire life it does nothing for you it doesn't it doesn't even do anything it says on the pack it's not mattifying it's definitely high definition it will accentuate your flaws um, it's not cre it's not creamy it just feels like oil in a pan Vaseline mixed with coloring it's a uh, it's not lightweight um, it's not great for oily skin like this to me looked horrible you guys can testify from the video I primed my face with my Becca um, Paulus um, perfect Paulus priming perfector to kind of mattify my face so there was no oil on my face I applied that and I looked like a greasy burger like what the fuck? Seven pounds fifty down the drain. So, needless to say, this is the most disappointing product I have ever used. If you guys have used this product and you absolutely love it, please let me know. It's not the same shade when it's out of the pan. It's greasy. It's a waste of money. Seven pounds fifty down the drain. I have absolutely hated like ridiculous so elf you need to you need to fix this mess because i feel really cheated really disappointed and really offended by this product not only by the shade but the actual product having said that i did go ahead and buy their finishing powder in dark deep which is quite a nice dark shade and I use this to contour my face and that just gives like the natural bronzy color now this is a great product I do highly recommend this it comes with a sponge and that to me is bomb so if you guys are in it for a powder or finishing powder definitely you can get your hands on this I know it comes in other shades as well um, some of the other elf products that I love aside from the brushes I absolutely love the gel um, eyeliner in black which is great um, Obviously, the wipes, you guys know that I use the wipes all the time. They're fantastic. The two sprays, the Illuminate Mist Set and the Matte Magic Mist and Set are fantastic as well. Wow, another product that I absolutely love, but I think they've discontinued it because I haven't been able to see it on the website, is the um, Brow Brush. Now, this is the Tame and Treat Brow um, Brush, which I use for my eyebrows which are really really great and this one is in the dark shade but I haven't seen it on the website of late so I'm thinking maybe it's been discontinued now these are the kind of products that elf should not discontinue they should do products like this another product that I've been loving from elf is the mascara primer now this primer is really really good for treating your um, lashes now I wear a lot of false lashes so I do depend on this a lot to give my lash some protection and just to help it um, stay nourished and to grow um, what other elf products am I actually loving well wow. now I really really love the elf HD lifting concealer now I got this in shade medium and I like to mix it with my LA girl pro conceal because sometimes I can I feel like it's a little bit yellow especially when I'm using like a, a, a neutral or cool tone foundation I really want a cool tone kind of concealer to it 
So I have been mixing this with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and it's fantastic. I've got it on today. I did get the e.l.f. Um, highlighting powder, the HD highlighting powder in Bronze Glow, which looks like this and I absolutely love it. I think it's super, super, super pretty. It gives you that natural, like, gentle glow if you don't really, really want to be seen from out of space. This is more down-to-earth, more homegrown so i really really love how subtle this is so you can get your hands on this if you want to try something from elf but yeah that's it really from my review and little rant um aside from that um foundation i haven't seen anything else from elf um aside from the eye base um, that I, I don't actually like. Um, the rest of the other products that I have from e.l.f. are really, really good. Um, I just need them to step up their game when it comes to foundation. I feel a little sore, a little hurt, and a bit um, not willing to try any of the other foundations. But yeah, you guys should let me know in the comment box if you've tried this foundation, if you love it, if you hate it, if you've tried any of the other products that I mentioned, if you love it, if you hate it. All the details for my hair top earrings everything will be in the description box below or on my blog so let me know what you guys think do you love the new hair what do you think let me know you know <laughs> and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye <laughs>